Hello you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Amy Nguyen and today I'll be showing you guys how to do this, aka my everyday makeup look. So yeah, shall we just get started? Just, just Let's just jump right in there. Let's get things first. We always gotta prime up. So I'm gonna use my all-time favorite primer as of right now, which is the Too Faced Hangover RX. Next thing we have is foundation. Um, I currently love wearing the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This foundation just works so perfectly for me. I have like dry skin that can oftentimes get oily, so like a combination skin, and this foundation just works wonders. The only annoying thing is that it doesn't come with a pump, and you have to buy like a pump, just ten dollars extra, which is ridiculous. So I just use like a little um, concealer brush, just kind of dip it in there and I guess it works anyways because I just spread it on my face and right now I am like somewhere in between my self tan color and just my natural winter untanned lacking sunlight skin so what I like to do is just add a little bit of like a darker shade and what I typically use is the ordinary um, coverage foundation just kind of add it using the same concealer brush onto my skin into like the dabs of where I've already applied foundation. Just, and typically I'll like mix it onto my little plate, but today we're just gonna put it on the face. Current favorite brush to apply foundation is my Artiste brush. This is the Oval 8 and it makes just applying foundation and blending it out so quick and easy and you use a lot less product with this too. Sometimes I hate using beauty blender just because it gets my hands really like gross. So I do prefer using a brush. Next, we go in with some concealer. Using the Tarte Light Medium Honey, this is the Tarte Shape Tape. I am almost out, so I'm pretty much just scraping. Applying it to my under eyes. This looks like a lot, but it's not really a lot right now. It's just like a thin layer. So this is pretty much how I contour my face too. I just apply lighter concealer under my under eyes and then at any location that I'd like to highlight. And then we're just gonna go in with the Artiste brush in Oval 7 and just kind of blend that out. And sometimes I like using little tapping motions. I feel like that just kind of pushes the concealer into your skin and it really like sets it in there. So just change a bit more under here. I really need to go pick up another tube, don't I? All right, and I also have like a little cystic acne issue here. Um, see if I can use my shape tape and tan to cover it up. And I'm gonna leave that there for a bit. Maybe I'll use some concealer on this side too. Just realizing I have a lot of stuff to conceal on my face today. Just using that Oval 7, we're just gonna go in and push that concealer back onto my under eyes. Perfect. Then I'm gonna go in with the Artiste Elite Oval 6. And just kind of pat that in there. It's a little darker than my foundation, but that's all right. Now that we actually got those spots covered up, we're gonna go in with like a darker concealer. So we're gonna use the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the color Toast. I love these, they're so affordable and they're so easy to apply because I have like a little squeezy tubey thing here. I'm just gonna go in and kind of dab. And secret um, when you're using like a lot of Artiste brushes to like blend out is like do not use that much product you don't need that much product of the Artiste brushes, which is really nice Draw a line there, draw a line there My nose and just draw two really light lines because I always go back in with like a powder Perfect Using the Elite Oval 6 again. I am just gonna go in and blend this out and up create a nice cheek contour and i like to use kind of like patting and like pushing motions instead of like rubbing around it blends it out a little nicer for me just make it even do whatever you need we're gonna go and blend out the forehead and then next we're gonna go in and blend out the nose contour i'm using the elite linear three i'm just gonna use like little pushing motions and push this into the center of my nose and we're gonna just like back and forth to like blend out that line don't worry, it doesn't look quite there yet with the nose contour. I'm going to go back in with powder anyways. Um, and then sometimes if I'm feeling a little extra, I always like going in with like a little bit of like the light color that I use for my highlight and conceal it under my eyes. Just do that underneath my cheek contour lines. And then using the Oval 7, kind of just blend that out so it gives you a little bit of brightness underneath your cheek contour. This is kind of like cutting your contour with powder, but you're doing it with concealer. 
and then we'll just go in and powder on top of it. So now we're gonna set the face. I'm using the Palm Brush Mini, and I love this just to set your face and stuff. Um, going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I take some on the brush, swirl it around on there, and just kind of push it in my skin everywhere. Use my eyes, forehead. Look how much how it just brightens my face already. And then now we're gonna go in with some powder bronzer. So I jump back and forth between the Hula bronzer and the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer a lot. And this is in Tantrix. This is one of my favorites. It's just massive. You get so much bang for your buck. I'm just gonna go in and feather that onto my cheekbones. With like a really light hand. I'm holding it like towards the end of the brush. A little like mini circular motions. Looks really dark now, don't worry. I was applying this all over my face, and when like the brush has like less product on it, I'll go back in and blend it out. But right now, there's a lot of product on the brush, so I'm just applying it all over my face where there needs to be bronzer. So now that there's not much left on the brush, I'm gonna go in and blend that out. With whatever is left on the brush, I was like going over my eye sockets too to give it a little color and depth. And I like to do this. And now we're gonna use my nose contour brush. This is the JD Weighty. I can't remember, JD Weighty 180 something. I don't know, it's a Luxie brush though. It looks like this. Taking the fluffy side, I'm gonna tap into some of that bronzer again and just slowly tap it into my nose, going in a straight line, making my nose look smaller. As you're lightly like tapping your nose, you wanna push into that line and kind of push it forward up to the highest point of your nose versus like pushing it down onto your cheek. And what I also like to do is take some product and push it from the underneath of my nose up to give it a nice lifted look. And also going around the ball of my nose, make it look really cute and pointy but also very button-like. And now taking the other end, I like to dip back into the bronzer and just cut my nose, placing a little line right where your nose starts to like bend upwards, kind of emphasizing that point so we have a really nice and cute lifted button nose. Going back out of the fluffy end and just kind of blend that out. To really snatch your nose and you also want to contour the sides of your nose as well. So I always go in there. Just look how snatched my nose is already. And if I'm feeling a little extra, I like to go in with my Fenty Match Sticks and Bamboo and just run the light color down the center of my nose again. Give it that extra match to Ruhu. I don't know what to call it. And just take my finger and lightly blend that out. How I like to do my brows is I use an Anastasia Beverly Hills angled like eyebrow brush and then I use a Benefit Cabrow in number five and I always have a cotton pad nearby because in between doing hair strokes I like to like just run my brush back through using my fingers to like press down the bristles and make it sharp again just so the next time I go in I have a really nice sharp edge that creates really you know realistic hair strokes. Just really random hair strokes that follows the natural um, directions of my eyebrow hairs and just go in and do strokes. It can be messy. When you're doing your brows, you want to push in with your brush and then pull up real real fast while also really light to make those really realistic hair. And if your strokes start looking really fat, that means you, go, you just got to go in with more product and press the bristles back down again for a really nice, flat, sharp brush almost gives you like a microblading effect, even though I do have my ma my brows already microbladed. There we go, that's one side. An additional step I like to take is just adding in some brow gel using the Glossier Boy Brow and brown, and brown, just brown. Go in and just brush my hairs up so that they stay, because sometimes I notice that if I don't use this, and I'm taking a picture in the sun, and my brows are crazy, it'll create a crazy shadow on my face. So I like using this, which just keeps the brow in place. And I always like to go a little bit out of order, I don't know why. My next step that I usually take is going in and adding in my highlight. I've really been using the same highlighter for like a gazillion years. Um, the Desi X Katie um, Dose of Colors collection, this is Fuego, I've literally hit pan. I freaking love this highlighter. Go in with like a fluffy brush. This is Morphe M533. Go in and just brush it really lightly in circular motions onto the highest point of my cheekbones, which is here. I don't know why I like doing highlight before my eyeshadows, but that's just how I am. And if you have any like breakouts, try to avoid like emphasizing your um breakouts even more. Like I have a cystic acne spot right here, so I'm just gonna try to not bring my um, highlight down that low because we do not want 
more attention to it, you know? And then I like to go in with like a pencil brush and just take some highlighter and run it underneath I'm right on the brow bone. And then I really just like seeing my like nose highlight when I'm doing my eyeshadow as well. So I go in and plop a little dot there. And then run a really thin line of highlight up the center. All right, now we go in for eyeshadow. My everyday eyeshadow look is really easy. Basically, what I've been sticking to is the Nude Medium, which is the Huda Beauty palette. I love the colors in the using a Morphe M441, which is like a fluffy tapered brush here. I go in to that top left corner, which is this nice, really warm brown tone, and just brush that all over my eyelid. And I like to like blend it like upwards drag it upwards so that it snatches my eyes all right so now we have our nice little base there so we're going to use the top right corner which is like a, a sienna brown ish and just go in and add that into the inner corners of my eyes now taking the m441 that i used earlier just going back in and just blending the two colors together now there's a little bit of depth on the outer corners of my eyes. Well, I have nails today, so I'm going to actually use a brush to apply some of the shimmer onto the center of my eyelid. So, usually I just pick a color. Uh, today I'm going to go with the top center one, since we're just doing all top colors. And just go in and just add that to the center of my eye. And now taking another pencil brush, we're going to go in. We'll mix the two. We'll mix the top left and top right. Put it on our lower lash line or underneath that. I'm only applying it to like half of my eye, leaving the inner half just empty. And then using the pencil brush earlier that we used for highlighting our nose, using the same highlight, I just apply some into the center of, not the center, my inner corners. And then going in by the brush I used for the initial color on my eyelid, just blend out any part that you see that needs to be blended out. And next things next, I'm going to go in with like a brown eyeliner and I just apply it to my upper lash line. And then next, we're just going to go and take our eyelash, what is this thing called again? Our eyelash curler and curl our lashes. Typically, I'll just grab any mascara that's nearby in my vanity or the first one I see pretty much. But today, I'm going to try this. This is the Diego Dalla Prama and this is the My Toy Boy Mascara. It's massive. My first time using it and holy shit it is really adding volume to my lashes already all right so that's the mascara so these bad boys these are the they're kind of dirty right now well these are the eyelier marquise silk lashes i really like these and you can just reuse them so many times because they don't fall apart that easy so so while we're waiting for the glue to get tacky let's put on some blush so my go-to blush always is the tarte amazonian clay and captivating you guys probably seen this a million times in my tutorials and i finally hit pan i've had this for a year or two which is nuts like there's just so much product in this and it lasts for 12 hours i like going from the apples of my cheeks and pushing them upward and just applying lots of blush i feel like blush always fades first you can really go heavy handed and then later it'll be perfect since this is a everyday makeup tutorial i'm gonna use a lip color that i use quite often which is the maybelline new york superstay matte ink in fighter i freaking love this color pause actually let's snap our lashes on because i think the glue has dried okay all right, and to our lips. It has like a pointy little applicator tip here. Go in and kind of draw the shape of my lip on. And there you have it. Wait, we forgot something. I cannot end the video without doing this. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and I just like to drench myself in it, essentially. Well, all right, you guys, this is the completed look. This is, yes, my almost everyday makeup tutorial. If I do have the time, I do prefer, you know, doing a full beat on my face and having this outcome, but yes. If you guys like this video and do want to see more, please do hit the subscribe button somewhere around here and give me a big thumbs up and turn on the notifications for my channel so you get notified every time I upload a new video and I'm hoping to do more of that this year soon this month this next month so stay tuned um but yeah thank you guys for watching and i love y'all